Hi there, welcome back to my channel, Diamond in the Rough Resale. My name is Dara, and today I am going to do a haul of some of the items that I found at the Nice Twice thrift store that you would have seen in a couple of Thrift With Me videos ago. And also, um, I had gone to the bins that I did not record at all that week. I don't know if it was the same day or that week or what, but it's, I've got some stuff from the bins here as well that I wanted to show you. But we will start with the Nice Twice. Something that I mentioned in the video that I did not get on film, I thought I did, but it turned out to be a photo, not a video. You know how that happens. Is this little pot, this little crock here. It does have a, a little bit of chipping on the inside of this rim here. And a lot of really nice crazing. It's nice and old, but this is a McCoy piece here. I hope you can see that with the light on like that, but yeah, this is a McCoy piece that I got for $2 and that should resell very nicely in my booth. McCoy. Let's see. What else did I get at the nice twice? Here's the baggie that I have. <laughs> All right. Here's that dish that I found. It was a dollar. I like the shape of it. Little trinket dish thingy for your vanity. It's very pretty, hand painted. And it is unmarked here, of course, and it does not say who made it, anything like that, but it is definitely hand painted. You can tell and old and I like it. And it's so pretty. <laughs> Tupperware butter dish. Perfect shape. Opens and closes nicely. This one was 50 cents. 50 cents. I'll resell that for a couple bucks in my booth. Then, let's see. Oh, here's that kitty cat. It seems to be missing something on its mouth. I don't know what, but it was a 50 cent cat, and I'm going to add it to my collection on my shelf. It holds stuff in here. You see, it's got a little pocket for something. I'm not sure what, but I like that. Excuse the kids in the background. It's a snow day. So they're home. What was this? Oh yes, this is the hat pin holder. Alrighty, so I paid $3.50 for this one. And you can see it's lovely colors and hand painted. Those look like poppies on there. Anyway, so I paid $3.50 for this and um, it looks like poppies painted on there, real pretty. And it does have a couple of hat pins. This one might be sterling, it's beautiful. And then these ones are kind of more plain, but still really pretty. Dirty in there. <laughs> Let's see, hat pin holder. And it is marked RS Germany. Love this thing. I can't decide if that's an eBay item or a booth item. Probably eBay. Seems like a more special piece. The more special pieces I will put on eBay eventually. Now, this I paid $2 for. Let me kill it. Let me kill it. Excuse the kids. Yeah, I paid $2 for this one here. It is a little old juice container, and it does have a lid. A lid. I don't know if it's the, the lid that went to it, but it's got oranges and flowers, and it looks very tropical and sweet. And it's, I like it. Aladdin Industries, I think. Hmm. I don't know, the top says Aladdin. It fits, so maybe I maybe it goes to it. I suppose we'll find out. Packing material. Oh, this is that Royal Copley vase. There were two of them. The one had a um a chip in the glaze in the finish down here, so I didn't pick that one up, but it was two dollars and fifty cents. And it is Royal Copley. Very pretty little Royal Copley vase. And then I got this cat plate for a dollar. And it does have some flea bites around the edges and a couple little teeny chips, but it's so cute. I'll put that for a couple bucks in my booth too. I love it. He's so funny. And this is a Holland mold piece. I should have thought about places to put these while I was getting ready for the day. Okay. Oh yes, and this one. This pretty little clear vase here was a dollar and fifty cents. And I like the shape of it. And this is like a 
maybe Indiana glass, something like that. I don't know. It's just a pretty little vase with a nice shape. It's not swung or anything. It's pressed, I'm sure, but yeah, I like it. Pretty for $1.50. All right. Let's talk about what I got at the bins that day. I have a box full and a little bag full down here. I'll kind of go through it quickly because I, one, I don't remember what's in here. And two, I don't remember what's in here. <laughs> I don't know. Um, this bag I got for myself. It's an over-the-shoulder thingy. And I want to try a new camera that I have for thrifting. Um, some of the Thrift With Me videos I have not been able to upload because I've been using my camera in a wearable thing and I don't have it pointed low enough, tilted down enough, so I'm pulling like a lot of the upper shelves and stuff like that and it's annoying. But this is a F-L-R-S-H Flourish. Flourish. <laughs> I don't know, but um, I like that I can put it like, it'll be a crossbody type of thing and I can put the camera here, maybe. I don't know. We'll see if what I say works, but that was really lightweight and hardly cost anything. So here I have an old enamelware soup ladle and enamelware goes quickly in my booth. I drew a couple dollars on that. <laughs> it's stuck in the bag. I like this. I try not to pick up baskets as much, but this one is a wood basket, the slats and a little handle, and it's got some grass in there. And I've got a lot of um, stone eggs that I've found thrifting and whatnot for Easter, and I'm going to price them at a few dollars each. Nice size stone eggs. Excuse me. And I'm going to put them in this to display. In theory. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be doing a lot of, oh, yeah, in here. Colander. These don't go for much on eBay, but this is a solid seller for five to 10 bucks in my booth. Oh, I picked these up. I like the texture of these. They don't have any tags on them in any way, but they are four like textile, really nice thick textile woven fringe placemats. Kind of boho, I like those. Those will go to my booth too. What is this? Oh yeah. I found a lamb chop puppet. You gotta love, you gotta love lamb chop. <laughs> I figure somebody will want lamb chop. Then, I like this. It's an old hot plate, see? A, it says Mother Earth's brand clothes. It's, just, it's cute, you know, old kitschy kitchenware. This is a Cruel set. I might do this myself. I don't know. Um, um, but it says, life is fragile, handle with prayer. I don't know. Maybe I'll just put that in my booth. That's fun, though. Old Cruel kits are fun. What else is in here? I barely remember we have a brass candle holder. Let's put a little candle in there. Brass sells like hotcakes. Here's a little old tin aluminum pepper shaker. It says pepper. I don't have the salt. I don't know. I could probably take that decal off and it'll just be a shaker. Little enamelware bowl. A little bit worn out, but that way you can tell it's vintage. Not repro. Here's a little glass vase. This is an art glass piece. The bottom is not at all smooth. I mean, it's smooth, but it's not ground. It's not polished. That's the thingy. But it's just this cute little art glass thingy. Pretty sweet. A dream catcher for my kid's bedroom because I got one for Evelyn. Well, I got one to resell and Evelyn liked it. So now it's in Evelyn's room. The other kids are like, I want a dream catcher. So I found this one. Okay. This is for my own collection. It's a little Avon cat. And my bleeding heart, I couldn't leave it there. It's got a chipped ear, but I thought that I might try my hand at repairing this with some of my plaster of Paris that I have and then repainting it. And if, if it doesn't work out, if it looks awful, it's just for my collection, this little kitty cat. I love it. And I got another little small kitty cat for my collection. Little sleepy kitty cat, it's adorable. 
then an angel food cake pan. The old tin stuff, the old aluminum tin stuff. This one is Comet Aluminum. Angel food cake pan. This stuff sells crazy in my booth. You don't put very high dollar amount on it and it, it just flies. I love it. Okay, now I've got this box. Um, books at my Goodwill outlet at the bins are 25 cents each. And I like the look of this one. This is just um, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. It's a more recent print. It doesn't sell for much at all. But I like the look of it and I can sell it for a couple bucks in my booth. And I will like how it makes the booth look. Book. This one. Okay, hold on. This is how I found it. I need some work. I love these little brass vanity trays. Um, the bottom is very warped. This thing obviously got wet. My neighbors are pretty cool. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, I was distracted there. But um, yeah, it's got some water damage for sure. I'm gonna see if I can flatten out the bottom. I'm gonna replace the mirror because I did find at another store some time ago a vanity tray with the oval mirror right here Ooh. with the oval mirror for two dollars and the sorry oh i'm like losing my train of thought and it fits perfectly see fits perfectly <laughs> and the tray itself had been heavily heavily spray painted i was going to try to remove it with my technique with the oven cleaner to remove it but it's not working and it's more work than I want. So, hey, I've got an oval mirror that fits that perfectly. Clean it up, you got a good tray. I love it. Okay, these ones here are some vintage old um, convex glass. It's got a curve on the front. And these are some made in Italy um, brass or bronze frames. These do very well and they've just got little flowers inside. And there's two of them and they're dirty and I'll clean them. Mm, I like them. Sit down. Okay, now, oh, this little framed tile with a kitty cat. I'm going to see if I can clean it up because it's very yellowed. There's a couple of things I can do to try to brighten that up. But, you know, it'll be an experiment. If it turns out great, great. If not, then I got it at the bins. Okay, now here is just a little, a little planter, a teeny tiny little brown planter pot. Very sweet. A couple bucks for that in my booth. The majority of this is going to the booth. I found a little milk glass. This is all bins. And the glassware is like a buck 19 a pound. I don't know. You know? But there's this little milk glass thing. Mini compote thing. Oh, and I was tickled to find these. These are awesome. I love these. Um... I don't know who makes them. I love the shape. I love the color. I love the finish. It's like a recycled glass finish. Now, people are obsessed right now with what's called fire and light, and I have no idea how to identify fire and light. But look, at, I got two different cup, two different sizes, like a big one and a little one. And there are four of them, two big, two little. But I don't know, these are, these are cool, and I like them. And they will do well in my booth. Here's the other one. Wait. I gotta dig it out. Here's the other one. Four of them. <laughs> Excuse me. Three and four. Without. This I grabbed two. It's just a little creamer. It's a gold finish. And it is a T and V Limoges. Gold finish. It's very worn out. You've got a lot of wear of the gold paint. Mm, excuse me, I'm hiccuping like crazy today. And But I love these in my booth for, and I have a little display. Actually, I've got one right here. Mm, let me show you. It tells you to use damaged or single teacups, sugar bowls, or creamers to grow succulents or other small plants. And a little like thingy, you know. So, because I've got a lot of little singles that I get from auctions and everything that I that are so cute. 
I can't leave Limoges there, but that'd be so cute with a little plant in it. I love it. And I did buy some fake floral at thrift stores and stuff that I'm just gonna kind of stick in there to also show. Um, these, I got four of these little mugs. They are not marked. They're thick, like stoneware, restaurantware mugs. That's a nice little set. crock for mustard. <laughs> Go. Okay. Oh, I know why I got these. These I liked for the handle. So these would be Irish coffee mugs, I think, and they're clear and they are not marked from what I could see, but I think I got several of these. I don't know how many, but I've got a few. Um, I love buying glass at the bins. This one's a little bit different. See that one, the handle's up here, not down there. But yeah, I love buying glass at the bins and because I like to stand by when the new bins come out. You kind of get to check over and see what's coming out and everybody stands and you can't touch it until they say go. But you can position yourself in front of what you think looks good and hardly anybody ever positions themselves in front of the glass ones. And I like the glass. So I found some really good stuff in the glassware the new glassware bins. Let's see. This is just a spoon rest. Isn't that so cute? It even says spoon rest. Spoon rest. And I'm sure it's just a little hobbyist. This is marked from 73. Love EC 1973. Spoon rest. That's so cute. Hi, baby. Honey, I will help you in a minute, okay? I'm taking a video. Can you wait for five minutes? You're taking me a video? I'm taking a video. Are you taking me a video? No, I'm taking me a video. But I want to do a Zoom no. no Zoom meetings. No Zoom meetings today, honey. It's a snow day. No more. Hey, check it out. It's another crock for mustard. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I have saucers for those too. Check it out. And they actually are marked. They are Ikea. I'll cover later, okay? Can you please move so I can do this? Take your tablet, please. Another one of these. Honey. Okay. And keep on digging. Some more of that clear glass. Another one of those. Up to four of that kind. And two of this kind so far. Packaging material. These have got to be like little shot thingies or something, but they've got like a little lemon on them. They're cute. I liked them. Then, here's a sweet little clear little pot, little teapot thing. And some more of that glass. It's one of those. So up to three of that one. Four. Oh, this one's different. This one has a different shape. Interesting. I don't know. I was just grabbing stuff. Excuse my eyeball, I have something in my eye. Oh, so we have four of these, four of the small ones, and then one of that odd shaped one. Cool. So I think that was everything. I may have another box from the bins that I got, but I don't know. It seems a little bit kind of spliced together. Sorry if it felt kind of strange. It does feel kind of strange because it's a snow day and all the kids are home and I'm not in my usual spot. I don't really have a usual spot, but yeah. It's hard to set up for a haul when you don't have much room. My office is a disaster, as usual. What else is new? And the kids are loud, and they're home. And stuff. Well, anyway, I hope you like my haul and everything that I got to resell for profit. And I hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.